here at chapter 11, number 87. So here we're asked to find the cube roots of the indicated complex number. We're asked to leave our answer in standard form and round our answer to the nearest hundredth. So my tool for using this is going to be the de Mauvray's theorem, but I'm going to use the nth root version of it. So this is the version that we're going to use, and let's do it with degrees because it sounded like in your question you indicated that you were using degrees to do this, which is fine. It doesn't really matter. Oops. So we should be getting three answers. Those three answers are for when k equals 0, 1, and 2, because it's always starting at 0 up to n minus 1. So this is the equation that we're going to be using. Now, in order to use this, we're going to need the trigonometric form for this complex number. What we're given here is the standard form for this complex number. Um, but it's not too hard to get the trigonometric form. So to get r, all I need to do is take the square root of a squared plus the square root of b squared. So that gives me um, 4 square root 2. You can double check that on your own, but I'm quite certain that's correct. Now to find my theta, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a picture of where this is. So remember that the x-axis is the real axis, so we're going 4 units over. And the y-axis is the imaginary axis, so we're going 4 units up on that. So there's my angle there. So this is the theta that I'm looking for. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to find this value for alpha, because I know theta is 180 minus alpha. Now this alpha is going to be the tan inverse of the absolute value of the b value, which is the imaginary piece, over the absolute value of the a value, which is the real piece. So in this case we get 45 degrees. So this would be um, 135 for theta. So I'm going to have the cube root of 4 square root 2 times the cosine of 45 plus 0 over 3 plus i sine 45 plus 0 over 3. This is when k equals 0. So I'm just going to take out my calculator. And first thing I'm going to do is check to make sure that I'm in degree mode on my calculator. If it wants to load, there it goes. Just took a minute. So I'm going to go check my calculator, and I am in degree mode, so that's good. doesn't matter if I'm in parametric or polar or any of those things, although you'll see that mine is in function mode. But since we're not doing any graphing, it doesn't. that part doesn't really matter. Okay, so I'm going to need the cube root. So to retrieve the cube root symbol, we can go into our math menu and pick option number 4 of 4 times the square root 2. And we're going to have times the cosine of 45. Actually, let's do it this way because we'll go back and use the same thing over again. So I'm going to write it like this. Because I'm going to go back and just edit things. Okay. 
So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to go back and just change this to a sign. So there's my first. Oops. Let's do that so I can see it. So I have here 1.72 plus 0.46i. So there's my first value. Now if I go back and edit this, so I'm going to press second and enter twice, that'll retrieve for me the cosine one. I'm just going to go back and change this to zero into a 360 and press enter. So that's going to give me negative 1.26 plus. And I'm going to go back and press second and enter two times. That'll get me back to the sine one. And I'm going to go and change this zero to a 360. So that gives me positive of uh, 1.26. And then I'm going to press second and enter twice. And then go back into the cosine one and change this 360 to a 720. So that gives me negative 0 0.46. Oops, we got the I there on that previous one. And then we'll go back and press second and enter twice. To get to the sine one, then we'll go back and just change that 360 to a 720, which gives me, well, let's write that as a minus then, I suppose, huh? Instead of plus, a minus 0.72i. Ah. So those should be the three answers. Let's check the answer key real quick to make sure that is indeed what we're supposed to do. When I go and I look at the answer key, these numbers don't match, but that's because there's a disagreement between the problems and our answer key, which is so silly. So the problem states this, and on the answer key, the work is for this problem. So the answer key for 87 is just flat out wrong, and that's probably have a question and why you couldn't get the correct results, is because, well, it's the answer for a completely different problem. So I will make a note of that and adjust it for next year, um, but I hope that helps. Have a good day.